Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels and this is a quick tutorial on how to use superscripts to create exponents. What does that mean? I'll show you in a moment. Uh, just so that you understand, part of this process requires me to uh, test the hardware and software. Uh, at times it doesn't work. I'm using Audacity here uh, as my audio testing device. I'm using a really uh, I thought to be an expensive, well it was expensive, creative headphone, but um, there's already a short in it and I've had it less than two weeks, so I'm a little disappointed with that product. I would recommend um, that you get a very robust microphone product if you plan on doing your own screencasts. So, <coughs> back to our problems of superscripts and exponents. Uh, consider downloading this video if you have trouble reading the fonts. Uh, the nature of applications is that it's probably 12 to 14 point font it makes it hard to read in a flash video player uh, and the getting to the point the font superscript let's take a look at it um, I'll go ahead and add one here uh, 2x 2x uh, cubed so let's go to tools font rather um, Oh, I'm looking. I'm in an open office right now. Um, actually, if I right click on it, it'll give it to me. Font, style, case characters, character. There it is. Font effects, position, superscript. Okay. So in open office. Let's do that again. Click OK. And that's what you'll look at. Uh, times. Now it's going to continue to do that. We don't want that. So I go back to uh, right click, style. No, I wanted character, position, and turn off the superscript and put it back to normal. Click OK. Let's make that a number again. Uh, times 4x squared. Now let's select that in open office you go to character uh, character position superscript click OK there it is uh, and that will do it for that. Now let's go take a look at what it looks like in PowerPoint uh, that doesn't look like PowerPoint it's not, it's open office. Let's go back to PowerPoint and 2x squared same thing we want to square this so we go to format font and you click on superscript click OK and there's your exponent now the same holds true for your Word documents uh, let's zoom in so you can actually see it because it's going to be really small. 2x cubed. Let's make that big. Uh, bump it up to like a 60. 48. You can see that, can't you? We want to make that a cube. So again, tools, um, format, font, and you're going to use the superscript tool. Click OK, and there it is. So there's your um, there's your step-by-step -step in how to create superscript. Math people, I'd really like to encourage you to um, uh, create your own screencast, particularly the function manipulations in spreadsheets. Let's clean that up a little bit so we can actually read it. Um, go to out normal, click, drag that down a little bit, click drag this down a little bit, click drag that down a little bit, control S, F5. Okay, why am I doing this? Technology can and does accelerate learning and enhance uh, problem solving skills. Uh, not much difference between the developed and developing world uh, in my opinion from what I've seen developed in the developing world are only separated by a couple of things, namely electricity. So, um, paper and pen, it is an 18th century evaluation 
uh, feedback and evaluation tool not fit for the 21st century or 21st century jobs. We need to uh, train a lot of teachers, we need to train a lot of people in how to be 21st century thinkers and workers. You can help by uh, creating your own screencasts and promoting more technology in the classroom through tools, free tools like Linux Terminal Server Project, LTSP. Share the wealth, again, your screencast can help. Uh, I use Demo Studio, or you can use XVidCap in Linux. My name is Dennis Daniels, and uh, thank you for your time. Uh, go out and create some screencasts of your own about Superscript. Thank you, and happy computing.